in not telling to others, in not teaching to others, he is giving these teachings to his own mind and telling them, they will come all kinds of false ego. False ego. You should have a very pure uh, rati towards or under the Lord's feet of all these things what he is doing. Diksha Guru and Siksha How we can do it? Always hearing and following his instructions. Ghost take. Always we should try to have very pure rati. What is the meaning of rati here? What is the meaning of rati? Rati means first sraddha, sadhu sangha, after that initiation from guru, hearing from guru, serving guru, <coughs> then doing bhajan actually of anna vilasita sunyam. Dhyan karma dhyana vritam ankulyam krishna nishyam. And then anartha going gradually. And a sambant dhyan will come. And thus chanting, remembering, doing all these things. This is Guru service, following Guru. Vishamena Guru Shiva. What is the meaning? Bisham Vena? Starting with a mode of intimacy. Bisham Vena Guru When this Bisham will come, when you will realize that I am so much be benefited from my good. Then this Adha will come. And then ten are basic principles according, regarding Guru Dev. And then Goshtalaisu, Guru Goshtalaisu. What is the meaning of Goshtalaisu? Vrindavan is Gosht. Naudip is also Gosht. Also, Puri is most, but especially it has been told for Vrindavan. <coughs> Those who are living there, who Yasodha Bhaiya, Nanda Baba, Sridham, Pasudham, Gopis, all. But it is not for general. They cannot see, they cannot meet with them. So, Gosta is here, Rup, Sanatana and all other groups who used to live there. But we cannot, cannot also see them and meet them. When those who are still there living and doing bhajan in the line of Rup, Sanatan, Raghunath, they are Kushtas. So, especially Rup, Sanatan, Raghunath, but all and others who do, those who are doing by them have so much of rati, ruchi, nishtha, nishtha, ruchi, asakti, and then rati comes with a great rati. And then Gostaleshu, Sujane, Gostaleshu, Karpa Sujane. Sujane. What is the meaning of Sujane? Those who are not in our Sampradaya, Gaudiya, Vaishnava Sampradaya. But the devotees
devotees in Ramanu Sampradaya, Madhva Sampradaya, Vishnu Sampradaya, Vallabhachar Sampradaya and doing bhajan, even Ram Sampradaya, those who are doing bhajan. Actually Ram is himself Krishna and he comes in the line of Marjada, to establish Marjada. Then he becomes. So all are in the family of Krishna. We should try to have so much love and affection for them. So we can have Bhushudakan. Those who are Brahman, not one pointed to Krishna, but even they go to Govinda Govinath Madan, Radha Damodha, and sometimes in Gopi, Gopishwar Mahadev and all other doing parikrama. So don't criticize them. Also, especially who went in Vrindavan, don't neglect all these things. If anyone is criticizing being in Vrindavan, not having so much arati to all these then it should be very, very big, big offenses. So we should try to avoid and to follow. Sujane Bhu Suragane. Brahmins and after Swan Amni. Swamantri. Swamantri means what Guru Dev has given. And if Guru Dev has not given anything, and we have no certain Guru they have not been initiated then, like zero, something is better that you are there. But at once try to have a very bona fide. Don't do it. And then go doing all these things. Uh, mantra, what he has given? Mantra, Brahma Gayatri. Guru Mantra, Guru Gayatri, Gaur Mantra, Gaur Gayatri, Gopal Mantra, Kam Gayatri, Pancha Tattva and Mahamantra. We should try to do it very, very patiently. Not that we are sitting after taking bath and I will have to go here and there. Oh, very, 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 very soon I will have to. Be patient. Do Tilak. Tilak mantra. Hachaman. And everything. And sit in a very calm and quiet. And go to Vrindavan. On the bank of Yamuna Aradha Kunda. Sitting there, seeing your prominenting. Predominating. Deities of mantra and had prapatti, saranagati, abhidam. Knowing that what is the relation with mantra and try to remember very patient. No hurry that I will have to go here at the office. So don't be And how Gurudev has told you, you should try to do all these things. And Mahamantra, Nam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Sometimes we can, like Sri Krishna, Gopala, Hare Mukunda, Govinda, He, Nanda Kishore, Hashi Jasoda Tanaya Prashita Sri Ballavi Jeevan Radhi Kesha like this Haradhi Kesha Haradhi Kesha like this A heart is not melting Tears are not coming In chanting this name then we should understand that there is some thought 
but that you should try to realize and try to remove. And if you are not searching that thing, then tell to Gurudev, like Vyas told to Nara. And he at once see your face or examine this only by his insight and he will give you good instructions. So always chanting, remember. Adding some past tense, remembering with name. Sometimes you can at that time uh, ch chant some shloka. Hey Krishna Karuna Sindh, Dina Bandho Yagarpate, Gopes Gopika Kant, Radha Kant, from core of heart. Then this slok will bring plenty of waters. Surely. Try to do like that. Sometime Namami Swaram Sachidanandaram Lasakundadam Gokundram Jasudabhiyo Lukhala Thabamaan Karami Shramatrindadam Namami Swaram Sachidanandaram Remembering that soul past time, it will come. Even mind is not controlled. At once take your mind to Govardhana, Sarkambhavati. In the places of Krishna, where Krishna has done so many beautiful, marvelous, powerful, sweet pastimes. So, Harinam Chanti. In the night, in the daytime, those who have left his home, their homes, their father, mother, children, wife, husband, oh, always chanting, remembering, doing all these things. And those who are grass, they should look after their house activities also and activities. Their marriage, their sons, they are keeping, look after their houses and everything is to everything for Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness is not for, for all these things, <coughs> that we will be happy in this world with them. But to add something to to make our life easy to develop our Krishna consciousness. If it is not going, at once give up this world. What is the use? What is the use of all these doing? So if they are helpful in Krishna consciousness, then we should try to do all these things. Otherwise, why, why not? Always chanting, remembering, hearing in the association of so good Vaishnavas. So our husband, wife, children, all these things, activities as home, only add something in our Krishna. If they are not helpful, why focus all this? So, we should try to do Harinam like this. Daily, in the evening, after daytime, we can see our local 
no problem, you know? Accounts. Accounts. Whether we are lost or in gain. Daily loss, daily loss in the evening we see, then why you are going? If loss, loss, loss. So we should try to check our balance. Where our bhakti is reducing or increasing. If reducing, why? And if we are getting work very good with in this And then love rati in the lotus feet of Rajjuva Danda Sarane and the lotus feet of conjugal Radha and Krishna, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, Sant. Sada dambham hitva, always giving up false egos of the life. I am so beautiful, I am so rich, I am so, I am so, I am, there are so many qualities in it. I am so much as strong, all these things. So try to be like that. If Prabhunath Das Goswami is telling lakhs and lakhs time, and Gurudev is also telling, always reminding, but not for you. And what will be this? So you should try to take it very strongly and go for God. Now I am coming to Bhakti Tattva Vivi. The Bhakti Vinod Thakur has written. Bhakti Thakur. He is telling, most respectable Vaishnavas. He is already, I believe, आदरणीय वैष्णव जन सुधारी भक्ति का आस्वादन करना और प्रचार करना ही हमारा एक भक्त में ठाकुर हो रेस्पेक्टेबल वैष्णव मान्य विशुद्धारी भक्ति प्योर भगवत भक्ति टू रैलिश प्योर भक्ति and to propagate that pure bhakti is only our purpose. Uh, purpose. Objective. 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 Bhakti Vinod Thakur, associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as well as of Divine Kapu. He is called Kamal Manjari in Krishna Lila. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur in the past tense of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In both, he has two shapes. He may have lakhs and lakhs shapes in so many worlds with them doing past time and serving his divine grace. So we should know what is that pure. Try to, first try to 
give all your false egos like anger. If you have so much anger, you cannot understand all this. Try to be so humble. Tanadapi sunechena tarorapi sahir nuna amanina manadena kirtanya sada. It should not be only in the Chaitanya Chaitanya. It should come to in our heart. And if you are not following all these things, do not be always arrogating mood. You should obey me, I will not obey you. What I am telling it is true to extent. Not Considering what he is telling, what he has, he is good, giving good advice or bad advice. No. No. Try to be like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is associate. So much. But Kudar. Not mind you, like many of us. Not mind you. Beneficent. Right. So that all can come to. Always see that what he wants. Also try to realize their difficulties. And then try to hum dusro ka duk suk samaj ka hum अपने भावों को दबा करके भी उनके भावों को सुन करके उनके साथ मिलजुल करके विचार करेंगे ऐसा नहीं जो उनके भावों को सुने ही नहीं और अपने भाव को ही बलवान रखें तो ये एसोसिएशन नहीं है ये संग नहीं है कभी कभी अपने भावों को दबा करके गुरु का आदेश पालन करना होता है अपने भावों को दबा करके और उनके इच्छा अनुसार में काम ये सेवक का प्रधान धर्म है द प्राइमरी फोर मोस्ट प्राइमरी ड्यूटी ऑफ द डिसाइपल ऑफ गुरु इज दैट वाइल ही इज डीलिंग विद इज अदर गॉड ब्रदर और गुरुदेव एंड गुरुदेव ऑल्सो ही शुड सी द सेंटिमेंट इमोशन एंड फीलिंग ऑफ अदर्स एंड इवन किलिंग हिज ओन सेंटिमेंट इमोशन एंड फीलिंग ही शुड रिस्पेक्ट एंड फुलफिल The desires of his guru and his uh, uh, god brother. Understand? हो सकता है कि वो बिचारे गुरुजी जो आदेश दे रहे हैं वो हमारे घर को हम उसको ठीक नहीं समझ रहे हैं किंतु अपनी इच्छा को दबाओ और खाली करो अपने हृदय को और उनसे भरो It may be possible that when Guru is giving some instruction to us, because of our so many own feelings, we may not be able to understand his real meaning, what he wants to say. Maharaj is saying that we should evacuate our heart with our, our own type, our own feelings. And then we should try to understand the real instruction of Guru there and follow. Chari Vaishnava lo, hum se bhoot unnat hai. तो उनके पास जाने पर अपने सारी भावनाओं को अलग करो शून्य बना दो बंसी जैसा और सुनो और उसमें भरो अपना भाव वहां पर रखेगा कोई भी तो नहीं सुन सकता जैसे अर्जुन ने किया है रूप गोस्वामी ने किया है जीव गोस्वामी ने किया रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी इफ यू आर अप्रोचिंग टू ए वैष्णवा and positively he is a very advanced devotee then if when you go to him make your heart totally empty, empty and hollow like fluid it should not contain your own feeling don't go to him with your own uh, thoughts and own thinking make it totally empty and hollow like fluid and then try to understand as arjun did when he surrendered to krishna as lakshmanan goswami did मध्यम अधिकारी का चार कर्तव्य फोर ड्यूटीज ऑफ मध्यम अधिकारी 
Prem to Krishna or Mahaprabhu. And Maitri to Vaishnavas. Those who are superior, Maitri plus service to them. Those who are in equal, Maitri. So much Maitri. Maitri means friendship. And those who are some junior, Maitri with some affection, mercy, compassion. And those who are Kanishta Vaishnava, not so much advanced, so much mercy, Kripa, always telling them Hari Katha. <coughs> they may do something, but we should tolerate. If doc doctors are going to operate anyone and he is abusing or doing here and there, but very patiently, mother or doctors and father, they tolerate and do needful. So, we should tolerate all this and try to obey all this. And those who are by mook, opposite powers, doing some aparat, we should try to neglect them. Not quarreling, like Prahlad Maharaj with his father, like others, like Dhrudhashti Maharaj to Duryodhan. He never told Duryodhan, he told always Suryodhan. Dushasana, not Dushasana, Sushasana. Karana, not like that, Sukarana. So we should try to obey all these things. These are the ground level. This is the platform of bhakti. If the platform is not made, okay, then all this instruction, the shower of instructions will come, <coughs> but your ego is like mountain, <laughs> they will go down. Never they will be there. And thus those who are polite, those who are Trinath of Sunish, they will gain everything and we will nothing. So uh, here we will be six, seven days. In morning we'll read Stat Bhakti Tattva and knowing this actually we will follow what is pure bhakti. And then we can propagate to others and also we can follow all these things. So, to relish what is bhakti in Russia and to propagate the pure bhakti is our aim and object. That is why we are going to know what is Suddha Bhakti. Suddha Bhakti ka Swarup kya hai? Yeh nirane karna hai. We are going to, kya? Yeah, you can read. Therefore our foremost duty is to understand the true nature of Shuddha Bhakti. Go on. This understanding will benefit us in two ways. First, knowing the true nature of Shuddha Bhakti will dispel our ignorance concerning the topic of Bhakti and thus make our human life successful by allowing us to relish the nectar derived from engaging in Shuddha Bhakti in its pure form. Secondly, it will enable us to protect ourselves from the polluted and mixed conceptions which, con which currently exist in the name of Shuddha Bhakti. You are hearing what? What will be the two effects? Yourself, <coughs> yourself. What is your name, please? Um, Divakar. Uh, Divakar Prabhu. What will be the two gains by knowing what is the real bhakti? What will be the gain? Uh? I wasn't listening. Why you are not listening? <coughs> Why you came with me here? 
to hear, but not hear. I was saying that you are in it. <laughs> Try to be always with me, with heart, mind, eyes, ears, everything. <clears throat> what is to? It relieves one from the contamination of material, from material contamination, it helps one to advance. More, more cloudy? It protects one from the contamination of the material existence and yeah. helps one to advance in bhakti. So we should try it. But nowadays pure bhakti is very rare. And the devotees who are performing this bhakti, adopting bhakti, doing bhakti, they are all karma mishra, jnana mishra, <coughs> yoga mishra, all contaminated with all these things, not pure bhakti. And they think that, oh, we are doing pure bhakti. So we must know what is pure bhakti. This is what it is. Unfortunately, in present day society, in the name of Shuddha Bhakti, Various types of mixed devotion, such as karma mishra, mixed with fruit of action, jnana mishra, mixed with speculative knowledge, and yoga mishra, mixed with various types of yoga processes, as well as various polluted and imaginary conceptions, are spreading everywhere like germs of plague. Yeah. What is karma mishra? Govind Bhakti is here. Send it back there. Why you come late? <coughs> Huh? I will have to punish all who will come late. Also, it is category of that frame period. He is hiding. Oh. What is Karma Mishra? You should stand up. And, oh, you should come here. Both. <laughs> That um, whatever you do, whatever activities you perform, um, all these, they should be done as an offering to me. So, Gurudev has explained previously that when one does Sharanagati, means that one has offered oneself to Guru and then one um, performs any activity, then that will be um, pure bhakti. But if not having done Sharanagati and one performs some activity, then it will be mixed with um, um, the desire to enjoy the objects of the senses. As, as long as there's that desire to enjoy the objects of the senses within this material world, then whatever activity one performs, um, that mix will be there. So this is um, Kama Misha Bhakti. Abolito? What is Kama Misha? If anyone doing like what we told, but he had not taken initiation from Gurudev and no Shambhandha Gyan, is it be pure bhakti? No. Oh. <coughs> tell something. Oh, 
when we are unable to perform the real activity of soul, then whatever the activities we are performing because of in conditioned state is karam mishra bhakti. The real activity of soul is shuddha bhakti. And when we are performing the activities in the conditioned state and try to please our senses as well as Krishna, it is Karamishra Bhakti. Mango, very mango. 
not anything, myself. I have not offered, offered myself, but I have offered that very mind. Why? Because I will take remnant and I will be so healthy and I will be so powerful. Then it will be somewhat like karma pradhan. Pradhani bhuta bhakti. Pradhani bhuta. No, pradhani bhuta. Karma pradhani bhakti. Here, Prominence or karma? Prominent is karma and bhakti is subordinate. It is also Guni karma vishra. And when uh, <coughs> bhakti will be more powerful and karma to test will be some yes. lower, yes. then it will be called pradhani bhuta, pradhani bhuta bhakti. Here bhakti is prominent. prominent. But karma is also there. But when anna bhilashita sunnam, totally. No anna bhilashita. No desire to test anything. Only to serve Krishna. Shamanam, kirtanam, vishnu, ishmaranam, adishivanam, archanam, bandhanam. To please my Gurudev, to please Radha and Krishna then it will be pure bhakti. Otherwise it will be karma nishra. Patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhaktya prayachati tadam bhakti upattam snami. This is also not so good, so high. Why? We should try to offer our atma, myself, ourself, all senses, heart, everything, first to the Gurudev and then to Krishna. Itya pun sarvita vishnu bhakti cha namalakkana kriyeta bhakti addatan mannedi. If anyone is not surrendered himself in the lotus feet of Gurudev and then to Krishna and Radha Mahaprabhu, then he can offer anything to Krishna. It may be that he will take partly, partly not fully. But if anyone is surrendered himself, now I am yours, you are my beloved, you are my son, you are my friend. And then doing anything, then it is pure bhakti. But <coughs> you have so many cows hundreds of cows and only one kilo milk you are offering to Krishna. And what other things? If you have offered yourself in the lotus feet of Krishna or Guru, you have nothing, you are Nishkinchan Vaishnav. Only by the remnant you are maintaining your life and all these things. Then, Anything you will not have to offer because you have offered yourself. Then what you will give to Krishna? All are offered. Then it will be pure bhakti. Otherwise, if you are not offering yourself something, you get 15 lakhs of rupees to Guru. And otherwise, uh, in other hand, one disciple, he has nothing to give, he has given everything to Gurudev, my heart, and my soul, everything. But he is serving, who is superior, whole day and night serving Gurudev. He has nothing to give more because he has given himself. So his property, his wives, children, and if he has nothing like Hanuman, everything, Krishna. There is nothing, anything more to offer Krishna, because he has heard. So what he is doing, as a serpent he is doing. So this is pure. 
and if he has not offered himself any part, anything, he is a very big, rich person and he has given crores and crores of dollars, but he has not given himself. Then there is something lacking, it is not pure, so it will be karmisha. In the same way, Jnana Mishra, Bhakti Vinod Thakur will explain all these things. So try to realize all these things. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Then? So the first example is that one takes the fruit for his own sense gratification and he does not offer, so that one is just karma, no karma Mishra. What? Your first example. If one just takes the the mango himself, not offering anything to Krishna, nothing. So that's no karma mission, that's just karma. Pure karma. No contamination of bhakti. But if, oh, if I will take it, then it will be very big sin. So I must offer Krishna. So all sin will go and then I will test as a revenant. Then Karma Mishra. Pradhani Bhutta is called Patram Pushpam Thalam Toyam. He is getting fruit only. Not himself. The fruits of all karms, jajjakaromi tattas tashmai samarpai samarpai et tat tat. Oh Krishna, ah, this is fruit. I have taken bath, the fruit of taken bath, I am going to you. I am doing this thing, <coughs> the fruit of this, but not, why not yourself? You should. Then nothing to if anyone has surrendered himself totally, I think, I should not tell, but I am telling to you, that Arjun is surrendered, gopis are surrendered, and if gopis are taking anything, not giving to Krishna, oh Krishna, uh, what mantra? Everything. They are not doing like that. And they are, Krishna is sitting there and they are, oh, you will take. <laughs> this is pure bhakti. Because they have, what? Everything. Nothing is. Their, their body, their mind, soul is of Krishna. So, if at, they are not offering outwardly, but they have offered everything. So this is pure bhakti. Sometimes you will give to Sukadeva Goswami anything and he will take. At once, no offering, like this. <laughs> you know this? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like this. Go, 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 chin, and by like this, like, like any mudra, Ankush mudra. No need of all doing this. They will never do. Gopis are even. Ram will not do it. Hanuman are. If you will give to Sukhdev, he will take. And no, he has not offered Krishna and he is taking. Are you are Kanishta Dikari more than Kanishta Dikari? You can understand. So gopi take anything, they do Sringar to become so beautiful. For whom? For Krishna. So we should try to do first. Offer yourself what you are, but for grihas it is very hard. But 
it may be, like Pandavas, Gopis and all other, like uh, Ambarish Maharaj. He was king, yes, so but big king, mm, kingdom, uh, sons, daughter, wife, so many things. But he was Shuddha Bhakta because he had offered himself. Now we should know about Gyan also. What is Gyan? First we should know. What is Gyan? Yes. <coughs> um, just ordinary Gyan or Gyan Mishra Bhakti? No, I am telling Gyan, not Karmishra. What is Gyan? What is Gyan? What is the definition of Gyan? Knowledge. What knowledge? Worldly things, ah, what is The cultivation of knowledge for the sake of liberation. Ah, here it means. So worldly knowledge about anything is general part jyada and material knowledge. And material knowledge. And when we have no faith on material knowledge, it cannot give us pleasure, happiness in my life and after this life. So we want salvation. So what is Brahma? What is Mukti? Knowing this, aim and of uh, like uh, aim and object of the life will be salvation. Knowing that I am soul, I am not body. Soul is not eating, body is eating. So he is thinking, I am Brahmasmi, myself is Brahma, I am Brahma, I am Brahma. And in the last he wants salvation. This is called Nirvishesh Gyan. Gyan are of also two kinds. Nirvishesh Gyan and Tattva Gyan. Here Tattva Gyan is called Bhakti in first stage. So here only to have salvation, his all activity is known as Gyan. But Gyan Mishra Bhakti, what will be the Gyan Mishra Bhakti now you can <clears throat> When one has the realization that material life is full of suffering and one wants to be freed from that suffering and one realizes that without taking shelter of Bhakti it is not possible to attain liberation and so one adopts some of the uh, Angas of Bhakti uh, with a desire to obtain liberation, freedom from material suffering, that is Jnana Mishra Bhakti. Yes. Jnana Mishra Bhakti. And when he knows that Bhakti can do everything, so giving up this in every sense, like Sukhadeva Goswami, Chatusan Brahma, Sanakshanandan Sanat Kumar, and all. They were always also within this category. But at last by the mercy of Brahma, Chatushan, and by the mercy of Vyasdev, Sukhdev Goswami. Gave up this can and became Sutta Bhakta. Like he has told. Atma Ramasya Maneo Nirgantha Purukrame Kurvanti Haitukin Bhakti Mikitam Bhut Bono Hari by the Masya. Sukhde Goswami, he realized the good qualities of Krishna and he gave up that thing and become pure Rashik Tattakya Bhakti. What you are telling? So, question is. The person who is doing Kama Mishra Bhakti, he knows that the goal is Krishna. He knows, but he has some mix. No, not knowing. He that is why he is telling that you should know. Because he is not Suddha Bhakta, he has no Suddha Guru, no Suddha association of Bhaksa. That is why he is not knowing. No. In association, he will know all these things, then he will give karma and become pure. 
So if somebody theoretically knows, but still there's so they much... I don't know, really. For instance, like my, oh, for myself, I don't know, but I have some theoretical understanding. Your bhakti is not contamination, but there are some weakness. There are something lacking. Hmm? Not so much sukriti and sanskar. So, it may be like Kanishta Adhikari. No contamination, but he is still some weakness, durbalta, but pure bhakti. Chanting, remembering, doing all these things. And there is something karma. There is also some karma mixing, some gyan also. But gracefully, in the association of pure association, gracefully will give up. Because you are knowing that our aim and object is that. But karma mishra bhakta, they don't want. They don't know all these things. You are in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in bhakti line. You have been initiated. You know some relations also. But still some weakness and there is something lacking. Yes, okay. Narati, uh, who was also in, in the beginning in the Karamishra stage, but Narada was a pure guru. That he could not follow Narada. Narada wanted to make him so pure, but he was in that position that actually he was not in a position to follow totally to Narada. He wanted. So it may be that guru is pure, but his disciples may not be pure. And nowadays like this. If anyone guru, pure guru like Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur or Sri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, he has lakhs and lakhs disciples, but he has only one or two disciples or it may be that uh, Grihastha may be not a uh, uh, renounced orders. <laughs> Is it not that by a definition, Kanishta, uh, because of his lack of advancement, the heart must have contaminations of karma and uh, jam? What is it? It may be some, but Gradually he will develop his Krishna consciousness and give up. But if he is gradually going down in lack of Shuddha Bhakti or association, he is not ready to follow, then he is making some offenses <coughs> and due to that he is going down. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur is telling that. We should know what is karma. Then what is Gyan? What is Yoga? And then what is really Suddha Bhakti? 